Hello and welcome to another Truth For Youth. On this video, I want to draw your attention to a verse of scripture and let's jump into that right now. The particular verse is found here in Romans chapter 5 and the verse number 1. I want to bring you to this verse because I think we are all in need of some good news. All right, We are living uh, through a pandemic and as we do so, uh, we are encountering obviously a lot of bad news with people dying and sickness. Then on top of that, we have you know all the problems of our country on top of the pandemic. And furthermore, you will have personal difficulties and we all have an abundance of these. So there are lots of difficult things right now. Uh, some good news is always welcomed. And here we have in Romans chapter 5, the verse 1, some great news. Therefore, being justified by faith we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. I want to take you to this verse because this verse, believe it or not, contains your greatest need and your greatest need is justification. Now what exactly is justification? Well look very closely at the word and you will see the word just. All right. And you will know that just essentially means to be right, um, as you can see there. So we need to be right, right before God. This then is your greatest need. It's not your only need, but it certainly is your greatest need. Now, why are we not right before God? Well, it's because of our sin. We are all sinners. Now, you might say to yourself, well, what sins have I committed? Well, I can mention just a few to you. Uh, think about the times where you have expressed deep anger or even bitterness against God. Maybe there's been blasphemy or you've been proud of heart and of your own accomplishments. Maybe at times you have um, acted in a uh, hypocritic way, hypocrisy, immorality. Remember those times you were telling lies, deceit, dishonesty. What about perhaps substance abuse or denying Christ? What about your love of evil, hurting others, unbelief, unrighteousness, unthankfulness towards God? So I think we can confidently say that we are all sinners. That's the reality. Now here's the difficulty. God never forgets our sins. There is not one sin that we commit that God will ever forget. But here's the good message God also forgives and in that we rejoice. He forgives. Now, this is what justification is, okay? It's essentially God forgiving you. He gives you a clean slate. He wipes away all of your sin and that is a great blessing. So, how do we receive this justification? Well, this takes us to the next part of our verse that I want to leave with you and it's the word faith, okay? So we receive justification by faith. That means we don't earn it. It's not something we can purchase, not something we can work up. It's something we receive as a gift. The word faith, it really means to, in its most basic form, it means to trust. If you can think on, well, let's say a harness. Um, when you put on a harness, you're able to, you know, step over the edge of a building. If you're on a building site, you're doing work outside the building, you put a harness on. And that harness uh, gives you confidence. It keeps you uh, assured you're, that you're not going to fall. And so what we're doing here is we have faith in God to justify us. That's what it means. We trust in God to justify us. We don't try and do it ourselves. And so it means we are fully persuaded that what God has promised, he is able to do. And he's promised to save and justify all that call upon him. So, if you're justified by faith, that means you will have peace. You'll have peace with God. Now, maybe it surprises you that you don't already have peace with God. Why would you not? You don't have peace with God because... You're a sinner, as I am and everyone else. But if we're justified, it means we now have peace. And that's a blessing. So our problem, again, is sin. But sin is removed when we are justified. We have peace with God. God's anger is removed. 
And if you have this peace with God, you will also enjoy uh, what we can describe, I suppose, as inward peace, all right? Because you can put your head in your pillow at night and know that you're right with God and all your sins are forgiven. And that is a great privilege. So justification comes by faith. And we then enjoy peace with God and what we can describe as inward peace. But who produces all this? Who provides this? Well, the answer is found in our text again. It is through our Lord Jesus Christ. All right. We are justified by faith. We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. He then is the one who has provided this. He's the provider. And that's why we call Jesus Christ the Savior. You see, he came to the world um, as God. And he came to live amongst men and provide this perfect life to give to us. And he then died on the cross taking our punishment. If you can think about all your sins, um, they're all recorded by God. And the Lord, Jesus Christ, our Savior, he took our record. And he paid the price for our record. And he gave us his spotless record. All right. So he has dealt with our sin. That's why he's the saviour. And if he has provided justification, all we have to do then is simply receive what Christ has already done. And that brings us back to the word faith. All right. So we are justified by faith, by trusting in God, like the harness, we trust in God, that he'll keep us from falling into the condemnation of hell. And this faith gives us peace with God, and we have inward peace. And this is all through our Lord Jesus Christ. He provided it, he's the saviour, and we receive it, because he is the one who provided it for us to enjoy. Just one question then, that needs to be asked at the very end of this. Why are you not saved. Christ has provided salvation. He's provided justification. It's here for you to enjoy. I would urge you to make sure that you're saved and all your sins are forgiven. Thank you for watching.